Hey, hot stuff. You see something you like? Uh, I think I lost my appetite. Why are you still here? I think the more appropriate question is why are you still here? Uh, because you suck at your job. I, d I, s I suck at my job? I, I suck at my job? Jonathan, did, do you really think I suck at my job? This is Sock. He just killed his parents. In his sleep. Now, of course, most people would be perhaps a little shaken after having just accidentally sleep murdered their parents. But Sock was not most people. See, Sock had been struggling with the overwhelming desire to kill things all of his life. You could say he had some mildly homicidal tendencies. No, what made Sock so uneasy was what he'd have to do next. Well, old friend, never thought I'd find myself at your business end. Hmm, last words, eulogy. I suppose it doesn't really matter. It's not like anyone's listening or watching me right now. Welcome to hell. Would you like a hand? Ah, uh, sure. Thank you, sir. This is my office. Have a seat. Do you know why you're here, Mr. Sawachowski? Because I killed my parents? Killed myself. Yeah, well, I'd kill my parents too if they named me Suck. Where's all the brimstone and fire? Why am I not being tortured as we speak, suffering for all eternity? Oh, don't sound so desperate, kid. See, I'm currently in the process of having hell renovated. Everyone's off the hook right now. The only one suffering is me! Would you look at this place? It's a freaking mess! The gluttons and the lawyers are in the middle of what looks like a turf war. The murderers have been hanging out with the network executives. That simply can't be a good influence on them. The murderers or the network executives? I... <laughs> so, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen is I'm gonna make you an offer. Oh, you mean like a deal with the devil? I mean like a job offer. Oh, come off it, Sawachowski. I already have your soul. You think I'm gonna challenge you to a fiddling contest or something? Anyway, the truth is, kiddo, you remind me of myself. Yourself? But you're... Mephistopheles, please. Call me Mephistopheles. Well, as long as we're gonna be all buddy-buddy about it, you can call me Sock. All right, Sawachowski, Sock it is. Okay then, let me just pull up your file. You know, you'd think being on a separate plane of existence and all, we'd have something a bit more sophisticated than a file cabinet, but you'd be wrong. So, tell me, Sock, how'd you get into the whole killing people thing? Well, it's, it's kind of personal. I won't tell a soul. Well, I mean, it's, it's a long story. <laughs> Oh, I've got an eternity. Do you ever plan to stop responding in clever puns? When this place freezes over. Aha! Found it. Now, Sock, this demonary position I'm about to offer you is kind of a big deal. You'll be assigned to a human counterpart. It is your job to haunt, torment, pester, and be a general nuisance to this human until eventually he, uh, you know, punches his own ticket. We may be under construction, but we still have a quota You mean I get to kill people? Mm, not exactly. You get to help people kill themselves. Hmm. And if I decline your offer? You won't. Ah, <laughs> well, I can't argue with that. Your first assignment is in there. You work five days a week, nine to five, and you get weekends off. She only gives Sundays off, you know. And I'm the bad guy. She doesn't even offer dental. Hey, kid. 
Why is he ignoring me? Uh, because he's disillusioned with humanity? I mean, he is a teenager. Can he see me? He can. They can. Can he see you? Nope. Can he hear us? He can hear you. You're talking to yourself. What? Nuh-uh. He's wearing headphones. <laughs> So you're really a ghost? Demon, actually. Huh. You should probably just kill yourself. Plus, I've got this neat spooky hole. Dude, I'm pink. What you listening to? Uh, the Howl of Soundbox? Never heard of them. Seriously? <sighs> you're unbelievable. <laughs> You're late. I hate you. You wanna stick something in it? Kinda. <laughs> Later. I just realized I can get into your house whenever I want. So, how long has it been, Sai? A day? A month? A week? Eh? I... I... No, really. The concept of time is something you people made up. I, I really can't wrap my head around it. Oh. Anyway, uh, the point is, I hadn't really anticipated this lasting much longer than, like, a student thesis film. A what? Never mind. So you're really taking your sweet time with this one, huh? It's just... it's been kind of hard. So, you're not cut out for it? Is that what you're saying? No, I mean... So you're stalling because you like the guy. <laughs> No, no, it's not that. I... Then what? It's just that he doesn't even care. He's not affected. I pester him in class until he disrupts everyone. I make him uncomfortable while he's eating lunch. I harass him in the urinal. Oh, yeah, yeah. I saw that little montage. Yeah. I've got him passing balls to a ghost in gym class. He's making passes at you? Everyone's starting to think he's crazy, but it's just not getting to him. Why won't he notice me? Why are you getting so bent out of shape about this? It's not like there's a deadline. I mean, you know, it just has to happen eventually. Well... What happens to him when I get him to actually do it? Well, we're gonna need somebody to alphabetize the Hall of Crippling Phobias for the rest of eternity. Hey, he doesn't have a fear of alphabetizing, does he? Oh, that would be so good! But what if I can't do it? Oh, well then you're fired. That uh... wasn't a pun. Well, see you later, Sock. Jonathan, come on! A little death never killed anybody! For the last time, stop talking to yourself and get out of my house! <laughs>